Let's go back now with our series on the money, and it's all about jobs. According to a survey from Monster, 96% of workers are looking to change roles this year. And just this morning, the new jobs report way exceeded expectations. Certainly a good sign for the labor market. So NBC News senior business analyst Stephanie Rule is here to break it all down for us and uh, tell us how to stand out if you're looking to change roles. So first things first, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How is the newest job report looking? Great, right? Last time I was here, I had to talk to you guys about paying your taxes, so you guys were like wheeling me out of here. But today I have good news. The jobs picture is great. We just got last month's jobs report, huge. 517,000 jobs. That is 300,000 wow. more than we were expecting. Mm -hmm. Hiring even more than we were last year. Huge positive. So the unemployment rate hanging at a really low number, 3.4%. Mm -hmm. We know that wages are still very strong for lower waged hourly worker jobs. They're up 4% from where we were last year. So a really big positive. If you say what industries, honestly, it's across the board. Hmm. So I will say, what industries? If someone is looking for a career change, where, where are we seeing most of this increase? So first of all, we are seeing in uh, labor, hospitality, uh, travel, leisure, hospitals, education, take your pick. Places that you could consider lower, you know, uh, where you have lower skills, trucking, e-commerce. Mm. You might say, I want to change jobs. I want to go into nursing. I want to be a teacher. That's a great idea. Those, of course, require a lot more training. So a way that you could kind of start in that space, get yourself a job as a home health care worker, work in a school and start to figure out, is that an industry that I'm interested in? That's a way that you can start to figure out if you want to be in there. But because the jobs picture is so good, there's lots of training programs out there. So you could say, I don't necessarily have the money. Lots of employers are saying, come on over. We'll train you. We'll train you for well, free. Speaking of those awesome. employers and companies, what are they looking for? Talk about the ideal candidate. Transferable skills. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're saying, I want to change industries. Okay. You know, I don't have a background in that industry. But what are your skills? Mm -hmm. Have you been a manager before? Do you, have, do you know how to work with a team? When you put that resume out there, show how quickly you've been promoted at your current industry, right? I can agree. you say, I can work, well, I can work independently. Mm -hmm. You want, an employer is looking for someone that has great skills. Mm -hmm. They can maybe teach you a new industry, but are you really good to work with? Sure. That is a huge, huge positive. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to show that growth. And then considered skilled labor jobs, what do right? You mean? I mean, plumbers construction workers, and you could say, I don't have those skills. Mm -hmm. Here's the good news. Go to apprenticeship.gov. There are all sorts of apprenticeship programs out there. They're going to teach you those skills. And if, so you, legit. and if yeah. you learn to become a plumber, huh. I might marry you. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> don't tell Andy. Exactly. Too much information. Too much information. <laughs> it's all about that genes creep. Anyway, uh, so you want to you wanna get that resume to pop, especially online. How do you do that? I would say put glitter on it, you know, spray it with right, perfume, Elle like Wood style. Yeah. Or if you're more serious about it, and this is a really good trick. If you're applying online, lots of employers are looking for keywords. They scan for keywords. So tailor that resume. I'm not saying lie, mm -hmm. but look at the job description and then start to think, what exactly are my skills that fit that job? Right. Make sure you have those words in there so when they scan, boom, that's going to pop up. That's, so when you look, what are the job requirements? Mm -hmm. Don't just have your run-of-the-mill resume. Say, hmm, what can I do? What have I done that fits that job? Don't uh -huh. just send your generic resume. And, and what about embellishing your resume. No embellishing. No, no embellishing. No. Okay, you know, there, there's a recent congressman who's uh -huh. been known yeah, for yeah, embellishment. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he I, hasn't I lost just was his asking job for yet. A friend. Was, okay. No, no, no embellishing. No embellishing. All right. Before we let's go, let's talk about remote work stuff. Okay. I mean, of course, wildly popular during the pandemic. Is it gone forever? Okay. I, I, people aren't... You always have the negative news, know, Greg. Everyone is like, I can work remote from home forever. Not necessarily. There are still remote jobs, but things are changing. Things are going back closer to where they were pre-pandemic. It doesn't mean there isn't remote work. Lots of jobs. You can still potentially work from home one, two days a week. However, don't you dare go applying for a job, let's say, in New York. Make your way all the way down the process and then in the final hour go, yo, yo, yo. I live in Boston. That's cool, right? No, that's not cool anymore. Mm. You need to know if it's remote going in yeah. right out of the gate. We're not living in a pandemic time anymore. I'm sorry to tell that's you. That's a good point. Oh, good tips. Tip, no, yo, yo, yo. I live in Boston. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. yo. Yes. Uh, Steph, have a great weekend, by the way. You too. For more of Steph's great tips all about your financial well-being, anytime, you can go to today.com slash on the money.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.